Join us at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino with the number one gaming experience and entertainment. The Prompt Nugget has the number one dining experience at Stockman Steakhouse, Golden Harvest Cafe, and the Gold Miners Buffet. Come get your game on at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino. Today's news is brought to you in part by Dr. George Leakes, Pahrump's optometrist since 1990, offering full-spectrum eye care for children and adults. Call today, 727-8300. Welcome back to News 46. The Beach Boys are celebrating their 50th anniversary today. They performed last night at the South Point Casino in Las Vegas. The concert was free, courtesy of Humana Healthcare Partners and DaVita Dialysis. We're here at the South Point Casino in Las Vegas for a free senior health care and Beach Boys concert sponsored by Humana Healthcare Partners in DeVita. We're going to let you see some of the show, which is their 50th anniversary, which they will have a release, a box set actually called Made in California that has some special unreleased audio mixes of the Beach Boys smile sessions. We're going to let you see the show that happened here on Labor Day. Can you see the screens on either side of the stage? Okay. All right. Uh, a few years ago, we lost a dear friend, a band brother, Michael's cousin. The Pet Sounds album says Carl Wilson singing God Only Knows. that release for the Beach Boys, which is called Made in California, is going to be released on Tuesday. You can pick it up everywhere. And it has those unreleased sessions called the Smile Sessions. Made in California is out now. This is Deanna O'Donnell at the South Point for News 46. And folks, here's Angela Miles with your first business brief. I'm Bill Mahler, and this is the first business brief, November 25th, a date set to consider the government's lawsuit to block the merger between American Airlines and U.S. Airways. The two carriers want this resolved soon. They like that date. The Justice Department wants to start the trial next March. The department in six states say it would reduce competition and raise ticket prices. Fighting those bank fees, it's easier than you may think. 44% of consumers have had bank fees reversed simply by asking. The most common reversals were for overdraft charges, annual fees, and return check fees. For the second month in a row, the unemployment picture in Europe has been improving. Unemployment is now down by about 15,000. That's a small but encouraging figure. And still, the rate is 12.1 percent. That is an all-time high. An EU official notes that the situation is still very fragile. That's the First Business Brief. I'm Bill Mahler. All right, folks, we'll keep it here because right after these messages, we're going to have your weather with Noah Began. News 46 weather is brought to you by Healthcare Partners Medical Group with five locations in Pahrump. Local doctors and professional staff providing total care from infancy to seniors. News 46 weather is also brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. For more information, you can visit their website at nevadadairycouncil.org. Hello and welcome back to News 46. 
Today we're looking at partly cloudy skies with a high of 94 degrees, an average temperature of 99. Winds will be coming from the south-southwest at 7 miles per hour with gusts up to 15 miles per hour. The UV index is 8, which is very high. Humidity is at 27 percent. Sunrise was at 617 this morning, and the record high in 1955 was 108 degrees. Tonight we're looking at partly cloudy skies with a low of 73 degrees, an average temperature of 76. Winds will be coming from the south-southeast at 3 miles per hour with gusts up to 6 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 41 percent. Sunset will be at 708 p.m. And the record low in 1946 was 55 degrees. Tomorrow we're looking at partly cloudy skies with a high of 99 degrees and a low of 74 degrees. Winds will be, winds will be coming from the south at 5 miles per hour with gusts up to 10 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 29 percent. Sunrise will be at 618 and the UV index is 9, which is very high. For our seven-day forecast, we're looking at a mostly sunny week with some showers on Monday. Your high temperatures will be in the mid to high 90s, going up to 100 degrees on Thursday and Friday. Your lows will be in the low 70s, dropping down to 69 on Tuesday. Well, folks, that does it for this edition of News 46. I'm Monique Mitchell. And from everyone up here at News 46, we wish you a safe night, and we'll see you here again tomorrow. Until then, good night.